Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to discuss applications of chain rule, which is related rates. Now we look at example 4 from previous semester papers. The surface area of a solid is given by A equals to pi r squared plus pi plus 2 r h, where r is the radius and h is the height. Find the rate at which the area is changing when the radius is 6 cm and increasing at the rate of 0.1 cm per second while the height is 10 cm and increasing at the rate of 0.2 cm per second. Okay. To solve this problem, first step, we write down all the information. Okay. From the word find, the rate at which the area is changing, we can write d area over d time because the rate here, okay? And then equals to question mark because we need to find it, okay? And then when the radius is 6 cm, so we can write r equals to 6 cm, increasing at the rate of 0 0.1 cm per second. So, we can write dr over dt from the unit given here per second means over dt. Okay, equals to positive 0 0.1 cm per second. Positive value here because the word used is increasing. Alright. And then height is 10 cm. So, we can write h equals to 10 cm. Increasing at the rate of 0 0.2 cm per second. So, we can write dh over dt because the word is rate here and per second here. So, we write over dt equals to positive 0 0.2 cm per second. We use positive value because the word use is increasing. If the word use is decreasing, so we must put negative sign here. Okay? After that, we can continue with step 2. Find del A over del R and del A over del H and its value. Okay, because the variable for A here in terms of R and H. That's why we need to find del A over del R and del A over del H. Okay. Alright, from A equals to pi R squared plus pi plus 2 times R H. Okay, and from del A over del R here, okay, this means partial derivative of A with respect to R. Means that we treat R as a variable and at the same time we treat H as a constant. So we can write from A equals to pi R squared plus pi plus 2 times R H. We can write variable r at the end. Okay? And we write r in different color to avoid error and easy to differentiate. Right? And after that, we can denote pi plus 2 which is constant times h which is also constant as c here. Okay? So, pi plus 2 times h here means constant. Okay? Then we can find del A over del R. Okay? When we differentiate pi R squared, we get 2 pi R because we move 2 to the front here. Okay? And then power which is 2 minus 1. That's why we get 2 pi R. Okay? And then to differentiate constant times R, we can imagine, let's say we have Constant times R, let's say the constant equals to 3. Okay? So, when we want to differentiate 3R with respect to R, the answer equals to 3. Alright. So, from here, if we want to differentiate constant R, so the answer equals to constant. Alright? And after that, we can find the value of D, del A over del R when r equals to 6 cm and h equals to 10 cm. Okay, so our del A over del r equals to 
2 pi and then we replace R by 6 and then plus pi plus 2 and then we replace H by 10. Then we simplify. We get 12 pi plus we expand here so we get 10 pi plus we expand here so we get plus 20 here. Then after we simplify we get del A over del R equals to 22 pi plus 20, right? This is our del A over del R, okay? Alright, from the previous slide, we done find del A over del R. Now, we need to find del A over del H, okay? Del A over del H means partial derivative of A with respect to H. We treat H as a variable and we treat R as a constant. Okay. From A equals to pi R squared plus pi plus 2 times R H. Now, we write H in different color because H is a variable. Okay. So, from here, we can find del A over del H. Okay. Pi R squared here means constant. Okay, because we treat R as a constant. Okay, when we differentiate constant, it is equals to 0. Okay, and then when we differentiate constant times H, okay, we just imagine, let's say we want to differentiate 2H with respect to H. The answer equals to 2. Means that when we differentiate constant H with respect to H, okay, the answer equals to constant, right? Then, we simplify so we get pi plus 2 times r, okay? After that, we find the value of del A over del H when r equals to 6 cm and H equals to 10 cm, okay? So, del A over del H equals to Pi plus 2 times R, we replace R equals to 6. Then, we expand so we get 6 pi plus 12. So, this is our del A over del H. Right? From the previous slide, we get del A over del R equals to 22 pi plus 20. And del A over del H equals to pi plus 12. And we also have dr over dt equals to 0 0.1 cm per second and dh over dt equals to 0 0.2 cm per second. Then we can continue with step 3. Set up the chain rule formula. Okay. We want to find the rate at which the area is changing. Means we want to find dA over dt. Okay. So to set up chain rule formula, if we want to find dA over dt, means that first numerator should be del A. Okay? And then, we have two pairs of multiplication of derivative. Okay? And then, since we have A in terms of R and H, so we will have dR and del R here. Okay? And dh and del h here. Okay, we just imagine we can simplify dr dr here and dh del h here so that we get back del a dt plus del a dt equals to dA over dt. Okay, so this is called chain rule. Okay, alright, after that dA over dt equals to Alright, del A over del R, we replace by 22 pi plus 20, okay? dr over dt, we replace by 0 0.1, okay? Del A over del H equals to pi plus 12. And dh over dt equals to 0 0.2. Okay, then we expand here, so we get 2.2 pi plus 2 plus 
0 0.2 pi plus 2.4. So, after we simplify, we get dA over dt equals to 2.4 pi plus 4.4. Okay. Or uh, using calculator, okay, when we calculate 2.4 pi plus 4.4 equals to 11.94. Okay. And then, we put an appropriate unit. Since we have A area here and the unit given for radius is cm, so, our area equals to cm squared. And then, time here means per second. Okay? So, this is the final answer. Okay? Find the rate at which the area is changing. Means that the area is changing at the rate of 11.94 cm squared per second. Right? Coming up next... More examples for applications of chain rule. If you like this video, you can subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye. Assalamualaikum.